Welcome back to another set of tips and tricks. And today, we're out here in the main cave. Uh, it's a little cool outside, but one of the cool things that I'm gonna show you today is how we can use our Humminbird electronics with our Lake Master map cards that have unbelievable accuracy and detail with their high definition mapping and a product they offer called Contour Elite. Contour Elite is a PC-based program. You can use it on your laptop, your desktop, uh, but this is a really cool program for them HD maps. You can look at all the same structures and contours and everything that that Lake Master map card uses in our unit, but at home where it's nice and warm, uh, in the evenings, wherever you may be that you can't be out on the water, you can do some pre-trip planning. And the most coolest thing is a waypoint management feature that I haven't discussed yet in previous videos. One of the things Contour Elite allows you to do is import and export waypoints. Uh, we're going to jump in here and I'm going to show you some neat things that you can do with waypoint management with the Contour Elite program and some cool search features. One of the really neat things with Contour Elite and the Humminbird system in Lake Master is the ability to export our waypoints to our units. Got our SD card, we're going to insert it into our Humminbird. Hit your menu button twice. And we're going to come over here to the navigation tab, which is going to be our third one over. Come down to waypoints, routes, and tracks. And we're going to go up to options. And we're going to select all and we're going to go down one to export. It says save tracks and routes and we're going to say yes. Right click on that. Nav data successfully exported to the MMC SD card. What that means is we now have our waypoints on our card here. I have a card reader in the side of my computer here. And if we look, we didn't have any data on the computer. So what we're going to do is go up to GPS and we're going to import fishing log information. GPS format, we're going to click down on that and we're going to come down to Humminbird Waypoints and Routes, which is an HWR file. And then you've got to click on the folder here and we're going to come down to Data HWR, Open, Load Waypoints, and here's those waypoints that we had from our unit right over here if you can see we'll get this kind of scanned in here these are some waypoints of some areas that I like to fish in the summer but what I'm going to look for is new fishing areas and that's the point of this video discussion we're going to select all and we're going to use the original names and we're going to import GPS was successfully imported it puts them into a fishing log table that you can see one of the really neat things when you import this, it not only gives you the lat line, but it gives you the date that you did it. Uh, it gives you depths of those waypoints, so you know exactly the depths. But it also has a slope aspect ratio and also structure type. So you can actually see what type of stuff. We've got gradual to the north, you know, which way they're facing. Uh, the type of structure it is and this information is going to be very critical when we start doing search search uh, with those waypoints we can we can go over here and we can zoom in we can go look at our waypoints roll the mouse here grab your hand sign up here and that allows us to drag the screen around uh, we're just going to go look at this area right here this is a, a very interesting area of the lake. We've got a nice channel. But you see it can be kind of hard to see that waypoint. Contour Elite's got some tools to help us. We can go over here to display. Uh, we can put our contour number so we know our depth numbers. But those numbers can get confusing with our waypoints right here. So I'm going to turn off the contour labels by just clicking the left side of it. You can click contours off. Now I'm looking at those 
waypoints the way they actually naturally sit here. There's one over here on a hump, and there's a point. This is a point off of a hump. Um, you can, on your display, you can turn on and off this information to help make it easier. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to look uh, by fish. I want to see what Lake Master has to say. So I'm going to click Largemouth Bass. I'm going to click Summer. I'm, gonna, I'm most concerned about midday. Where am I going to catch these fish in the heat of the day when, when everybody else seems to struggle on hot summer days? Uh, and then I'm just going to hit Execute Search. It gives you some fishing tips about uh, things to use. You can print those tips or I'm going to close them here. But there's two boxes here. There's display pixels and then make pixels blink. The blinking pixels really help this jump out at you. If you can see them here, we've got blinking pixels here and up here. Uh, there's some over here off this point here. Uh, there's a couple other ones. But that blinking really makes them jump out at you. I can see there's three or four more over there, even small ones. So that's one of the cool things is try that uh, uh, making those pixels blink when you do a search, and it'll help you find those uh, find those target areas. Uh, now, one of the really neat things is a 3D. We can go in here with our 3D view, and what it's going to allow us to do when it comes up here is see those same search areas in our 3D view. We clicked on the area. We've got our 3D view. I'm going to zoom in a little bit to this area where this channel swings off this bank over to here. We can see we've got a highlight on top of the ridge. There's one on the back side. There's another one here. There's one on this point. There's one here. But one of the things with three, the 3D view is we can turn, we can spin this around and look at it at all different angles. Look at how that roadbed comes off here. Uh, there's a you can multiply the depth if you want it exactly like it is you can do a one and it's going to be flatter but I like to exaggerate data so I can see those good drops a lot easier it helps you pick them out look at that waypoint it's showing our waypoint on there we can actually see our waypoint when we spin around here but look at this look at this summer area it's showing up here and when we originally did this, it was not there. We could see that little red one there. So this is really neat because I can look around and look at all this structure and see where I need to fish. Look at this. Look at this nice drop off into the river channel. You got a nice point here. You got another nice red area here. Here's our waypoint uh, that we had. You can see it out here. Yep, we were we were pretty close, but look at these other these three or four other areas that uh, you know we've got several other places besides this one waypoint that we could go we could go try. There's a couple more up here. Uh, it's just something to help you learn more about your lake, more places to fish, more places to test. Use your sight imaging, hit put these waypoints in, and go do it. Uh, we're just going to close out of our our 3D and I'm going to show you how to set up those areas. Uh, we're going to go up here to our target tool and we're going to draw a new target. You can draw an area, you can do a spot, or you can do a line. I'm going to choose spot. Uh, I want to choose this spot here. I don't need any comments. That's T1. I'm going to choose this area here. I'm going to choose this area here. I'm going to choose this point here. And then I'm going to choose, I'm going to set one at that end, and I'm going to set another one at the other end. That way I know to fish that stretch there. I'm going to set two waypoints. Now what I'm going to do is go up here to, to export targets to GPS. I hit export targets. I'm going to the GPS format. We need to go down and select our hummingbird waypoints and routes. And we're going to export to our H to that same file. And it says please select items 
to export. So I'm going to click all six of those target areas. They're going to be T1 through T6. That's one of the neat things is you can use these target areas are done by number. T1, uh, so when your waypoints come back in our unit, we're going to see that, that T, those target, the T1, be our new waypoint. That way we know it's not a fishing waypoint, it's a target area. So we're going to export. The output you selected already exists. Are you sure you want to overwrite? Yes, because we had our waypoints on our card. So it, it successfully exported those to our card. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull our card out. And we're going to insert it in our unit. But first I'm going to move, uh, that was waypoint 105 up here. I'm just going to zoom in on it so when we put the card in, there was our 105 that was on that hump. We're going to insert with the unit on. We'll ask us if we want to upload the data. You need to make sure that the unit is on to import data and then it's going to ask you if you want to import it and I'm going to say yes. It's loading waypoints, trouts, tracks and routes. Um, now we can see here's our and our blue dots are our new waypoints. Isn't that cool? We can we can move around. We can see the same stuff Right there, that good break, the point, this point, this point. Here's a, here's a little ditch, actually, they're showing off of this hump. Instead of a point, we've got a little ditch. It's actually a ditch to the, to the north side and a little hump, right, a little point right here. Almost, and then we kind of go into a flat. Those are some areas now that I can put my boat in the water this summer and go out and fish and find those things.